This is an advertisement from BetterHelp Therapy Online. It's Charlene and Ellie here from the Home I Drink podcast and sometimes we tend to compare our lives to others. I know social media definitely does that for me. You also hear the phrase, comparison is the thief of joy and it is so true. Therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have so you can start living your best life. I don't know how many times I've said therapy on this podcast. Yeah. I literally, every <laughs> dilemma comes in. There's nothing that you can't go to therapy for. Like It just yeah. can help every every problem you have. There's you know? no specific one thing that you have to go for. Yeah, and I think people think you only have to go for like these huge dramatic things in your life, mm. but it can be just comparing yourself online. True. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a registered therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. With over a thousand therapists in the UK already, BetterHelp can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of expertise in mental health. Our listeners can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash HMD. That's betterhelp.com slash HMD. Go loud. How am I, this person who has been off the reels for the last 10 years, right? <laughs> has zero money, right? Yeah. Fine, very, and then I kind of settled a bit when me and him, I, I he together, changed yeah. my life, so I did, but Aww. I was like, how am I going to, to own a baby? He told me that night, he's like, I love you, right? Aww. And he did, Aww. but he did also drink a full bottle of Buck Fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you know what depression is. Like, I, yeah. I'm not depressed, I know I'm not depressed, yeah. but like, I don't want to be alive, I hate my life. I am crying every single day. Like yeah. every single thing is making me cry. And she's like, no. That's depression. Welcome to Home or Drink with Charlene and Ellie. Our podcast is like a group chat between your best friends. The girls brought them on night out where you spill all the gossip on relationship dilemmas and life. If you're a return listener, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. welcome. I feel like we will have a lot of new watchers and listeners today. Potentially. Because we have on the amazing Anna Olivia Hines. She's just too She cute. is. Uh, what a woman. Grey crack. Grey crack. Tell you. It has her life so sorted out. She's I only just, aspire to be like her. Seriously, she's honestly. just amazing. So if you haven't actually we never said her handle either for TikTok and stuff. Oh. But it's just we'll tag her on our Instagram obviously in the clips and her TikToks. Mm-hmm. But it's Anna Olivia Hines. Yes. So we'll be tagged there anyway. Yeah. Um but yeah, she spoke about everything. Everything. <laughs> she has so much she's so interesting. Yeah. There's so much going on. We talked about her early years in school, how she became a content creator, her three kids. So Beautiful cute. kids. Yeah. They're actually the cutest thing I've ever seen. Rory, their relationship. Yeah. How they started off. Their invisible string. The they holy sang. lands. The holy lands. We sang a little song as well, didn't we? Oh, we did. We did. But yeah, we had a really, really nice chat with her. So it was lovely. Enjoy. So this week on Home I Drink, we are delighted to be joined by the amazing Anna Olivia Hines. Hi. We're Hi. just talking about your second name there. I was going to say Hines. No, Hines. Like Hines. 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 I love that. Have you seen them, Hines? Pajamas. I need them. Yeah. Put a load of beans all over them. And you can, get, you can get ketchup ones. <sighs> See my brothers that. and my dad, they're called Beansy. Are they? Like they? Beans. That's their oh my God. Beansy. I'm so glad I never got that nickname. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, did you have a nickname in school or anything? It was like football Annie. I was Annie. Aww. And then one of my friends was called Pian. But I hated it. Did you? Yeah. I didn't, I was like, they're granny names. <laughs> I love Annie. I think Annie's really cute. Annie's yeah, 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 Annie's I like adorable. Annie now. But like when I was like 15, 16, I was like, that is a granny name. I'm like, Granny Annie. Really? No. Granny Annie. Granny Annie. Has everybody always called you by your phone? Like, Anna Olivia. It's never been no. Anna or. No, no. Anna Olivia. But yeah, like full. in school, it was a nightmare. Like, no one, it? like, you know, like sub teachers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anna Lee. Anna, Anna, Anna. Like, uh, it's, it's not, not that the hard. hard. Yeah, you just <laughs> read the whole thing. Wrong. Yeah. And it was always wrong. And like, Anna Louisa and all that. Like, there's no Isa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Where are you getting the Isa from? Yeah, yeah, was there, I saw it on TikTok before, there was a story about how your name was made. Did your mom yeah. make your name up? So it was, um, right, so there's the big River Liffey, right? And there's yeah. a guy who writes books, I don't know, James Joyce. Yeah. He's like famous book oh, writer yeah, in sure. Ireland. Yeah, he's huge. I don't know nothing about him. I've yeah. never read the book. Yeah. But he had this book, don't know what it's called, but there's like a statue in the River Liffey somewhere. Okay. All right, some like statue of like a woman and it's called the Anna of the Liffey. But then the nickname, they're like Anna Olivia in this book. And oh. my mom read this book and it was like Anna Olivia, like of the. But I hated my name growing up because, you know, like when people have, like, you know, like in my class, there was like yeah. 
five Kiras, and I was like, I want to be called Kira. Oh, yeah. It's such a cool name. Yeah, they always yeah. want to be what everybody else. I know, and I remember like. loads of Kivas, and I was like, Kiva's such a nice name. Why have I got this name that no one can say? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> but now I, I love it now because yeah. I don't know anyone else of it still. It's yeah, so so I, really like I feel it. like since you've blown up, the name is gonna blow up. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that's gonna start oh, yeah. being people's. I think Nevo had a Nevo on it. Yeah. Her baby on Olivia. Did she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. On Olivia. yeah. Never such a nice name, but growing up, you know, when it, like you don't want to be different to anyone. No, you yeah. want to all blend in. You want to yeah. like hear it. Yeah. What was school like up in Armagh? Isn't it? Yeah, Armagh. Yeah. 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 So I should know that North. from the final. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that song. Did you see that music? Forgies, I suppose. I don't know the next part. Arthur Reno. I know Arthur Reno Neil, and then W stands. For Winnie and Sam McGuire and the Armagh football team. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say, I met girls actually on the plane from Tyrone, so I was thinking Tyrone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, how was it? Yeah, what was life like in Armagh? Yeah, mad. I don't know. Um, me and Roy also, like, you know, you've made it when, like, your school kind of bring you back in and, like, oh, do, like, a talk. Yeah. Like, that is true. <laughs> My school will never take me back in, ever. <laughs> I was a disaster. Oh, I was the most troubled people in the world. Right. Oh, so, at primary school, he's a primary school, yeah. So, primary okay. school, I, I was. Grand, and then we went to first year of like what do you call it, like high school, secondary, secondary, secondary school, school yeah. yeah. And in first year, I was grand for the first couple of months, and then my mum died, and I just had this like switch where I was uh, like, "Fuck everyone, fuck rules, yeah. fuck everything," and I just was like getting suspended every week, getting detentions every day. My dad was in for meetings like every single week, like I was just a nightmare. But like, well, justified if you go yeah, through something. Yeah, like yeah that, well, at, at, age, at the like, time, like I was like, oh, I'm, I'm so cool, and like people always used to like. Baby me all oh, per on Livia and this and that and I was yeah. like, No, I'm fine. Yeah. Fuck you fall. Like yeah. that you kind of like stand <laughs> It was up. like nearly like no one I don't want a pity party. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm gonna show you all that I'm like this mad So I'll get to tell bastard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like it was nearly like class clown thing. Yeah, and like yeah. right. I was actually talking to my friend about it there, like because I was talking about like coming here and she was like, Yeah, it was just like your way of like you wanted like attention for other things. Yeah. Right. Not that thing. Yeah, so I was a nightmare, like, and I didn't, like, pass exams and all. Like, I just didn't care about yeah. anything. I didn't yeah. want to be there. And then, like, getting up. You, you have, like, we have GCSEs. What do you think? We have um, the Leaving Cert. Junior. Leaving Cert. Junior, yeah, junior. So, like, I scraped yeah. by them, and I remember, like, sitting in the car. I'll never forget sitting in the car, and we opened up the letter, me and my dad, and, like, we were, like, prepared for, like, Disaster. What is going to, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like, I just scraped and passed them all. And, like, me and my dad were, like, crying. Like, we couldn't Aww. believe this because Aww. I was I was a nightmare. And, like, I prepared myself. Like, oh, I'll feel them all. Like, and, yeah. You must oh. have, like, that natural smartness that you just remember. I don't even know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But I don't like Irish and PE. Like, yeah. things that I actually kind liked. liked. And, yeah. like, it was nearly, like, PE. Like, you, you had to be... We couldn't do it. We're not allowed to. No, because you do that as, a, as an exam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you have to do for the exam? So, like, the exam was, like, talking about, like, different types of muscles, recovery, and then, like, ha see, the reason I picked it, half of the exam, so 50%, was, yeah. like, physical activity. And I was, like, a really good footballer. So, yeah. like, people came out and watched me play football. Stop it And no. marked you on that. So that's why I was, like, I will, I got an A in it. It's the only A I've ever wow. had my life. <laughs> but I knew oh because 50% was on performance. No way. So I, would, I was, like, that's an easy we one had to do. We had PE, but we definitely didn't learn no, anything about... You didn't learn, like, muscle or recovery. Oh, or it was like no. anaerobic no. activity, aerobic activity. Uh, we went playing badminton in the hall. and <laughs> They used to just send us up to the gym. We'd be on the treadmill just yeah. walking. <laughs> we had treadmills. I bet you 40. Yeah, we didn't have treadmills. Yeah, we had a couple Did of treadmills. We had a mini gym upstairs. <gasps> yeah, yeah, We had like yeah. climbing frames. <laughs> you know, like oh. ladders that you climb up and all. Like, we just had oh a big room. God. Just like a hall. Like, like a gymnasium kind of thing, but like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gymnastic kind of stuff. What? I always but, wanted um, the one big ropes thing. Yeah, 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 with them. Like yeah. I would love to come with them. I know. That's yeah. my dream. So, like, I don't like the easy things. Okay. But I knew that I was always interested in business and on that. So, like, I scraped past them all and I did. got there. And then I done my A levels again. And it was like, right. What do you do? The A level? So, I don't know. That. We, our GCSE is. is Junior cert and then A levels is leaving cert. Ah, uh, so that's so like, like sixth year or yeah, 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 year, yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. A levels and then again, it was like, <laughs> why am I even doing these? Like, why is she doing these? <laughs> and then I got three C's. I like scraped past them all. Oh but, my god, um, I was a nightmare. So nightmare. Give college my dad and teachers the worst. The years. worst in life, <laughs> and just through the whole time. Yeah, like well, I kind of wised up in A level. Um, yeah. probably just with age, I was like, right, <laughs> no one likes the person that's you know. I can't to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I wasn't like I was just like horrible. Was, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, little shit. And then did you do college after that, or so I didn't get into uni. Okay, it's uni down here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 College, such yeah. a thick border between the NI and I. Oh, like, no. But yeah, I didn't get into. I tried to get into uni and I didn't. And then there's a thing called like clearing. So it's like you know if you know people put like down these degrees as their choices, but they pick something else. 
Oh, there's still no spaces in here. Yeah. Okay. So I went under there and I didn't get into any of Did you know? <laughs> no. no. So I went to like tech. It was called Belfast Met, like a okay. higher education. And have you ever heard of the Holy Lands? No. Yeah. In Belfast. No. I've heard of it. Is it in Derry Girls? I yeah. feel like they've said it. It might be. Not? Yeah. It's like a big like student like. Oh, never mind. think like a house in a state, right? Oh. But it's like really cheap in Belfast. Yeah. So all the students go and live there. So it's mad. Like it's all bars and nightclubs and everything. But it's like. It's awful too. Like oh, I wouldn't yeah. go in there. <laughs> but um, like that was the whole thing. You go to uni, you go live in the Holy Land, you party for a few years, and I was like, I'm not not going there. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, my friends were all there. going. Everyone's going. I was like, I'm going to the Holy Lands. My yeah. brother lived there. I was like, I'm going. So I took up this. I actually got into tech in Uri, and I was like, mm, too far from Belfast. No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I need to be in Belfast. So I got into. Bel- I applied for Belfast Met and got into it like really last minute. I think someone dropped out, and that's how I oh. got in. And then went to the Holy Lands and partied for two years. Didn't pass my... Did you know? <laughs> no. We had a good time. <laughs> had a good had time. A good time. <laughs> I had an amazing time. We made it to the Holy Lands. That's like, all that matters. Yeah. yeah. If anyone is like looking um, education inspiration from me, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take yeah. it from me. <laughs> but everything else inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, not, yeah. You've blown up on TikTok over the past... Yeah. couple of years and it's actually great like you've done so well and like everyone's obsessed yeah. it's skyrocketed yeah. Like, it's mad. Yeah, I only honestly. started this like two years ago it's was great. it only two yeah. years ago so you weren't even like one of them COVID TikTokers no it would have been right. after, after that, that. No, yeah. yeah it was after yeah. that yeah stop yeah it was oh. after I had Rhea and that was 2022 we need to talk about Rory as well oh, yeah. did you just yeah. meet in school with you in your school no oh no so we're like an hour away from each other oh so we're like where you live long distance yeah, <laughs> kind of. we were, I was fixing, so we didn't even drive. Oh, how did so, you meet up? Well, we we met at like a a nightclub, like a like a, disco, a nightclub, like, like a disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My two friends and me went, and they were like, you know, like texting these. Like, it was like back in Snapchat, you know, like yeah, there was yeah, no yeah. Instagram stories yeah. or Snapchat stories. So yeah. they were talking to these boys, and I went with them. It was their first time going here, and their friend was very. So like I was a spare friend, and he, he was, was a spare, spare friend. friend. Oh, okay. But like we talked to each other the whole night, and like it was like such. Like, you're going to laugh, right? I tell everyone this, right? He told me that night, he's like, I love you, right? And he did. Oh. But he did also drink a full bottle of Buckfast. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, he told me he loved me. And he's like, I drank a full bottle of Buckfast. <laughs> but um, but we didn't start going out. We had like a kiss and stuff that night. And do you ever hear of the invisible string theory? Yeah, no. yeah. So it's like an invisible Taylor string Swift? that would like pull us together. So okay. if me and you were meant to be best friends, the string would just keep putting us in the same room. You keep ending up at yeah. the same venues or like yeah. the same people. Thank like you. It was, so yeah. it was like we would just always be like again. There was no Instagram stories. There was no yeah. like oh where he's going. It was like you'd snap really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was like um, yeah, Facebook. So there was just we just kept ending up in the same places. And I remember this one. I always think it's like mad. So he lives an hour from me. Yeah. Warm Point. I'm Arma. Arma. We're not even in the same county. You know you don't. I yeah, never, you don't do that. You wouldn't you connect go, the two no. together. Yeah, yeah. And it was like back in Snapchat days, and I'd like put up, and I was like, "Can someone give me a lift to put it on?" You know, <laughs> <laughs> no one would like give me a lift. Imagine doing that now, like <laughs> oh my never. Gosh. So I was an arm off my friend. I was like, "I need a lift to put it on." It was after like a night out, um, and yeah. and he texted me, and I was like, "Oh, I'm at my uncle's wedding in the Arma Hotel, which is like <gasps> right beside my house. I'm on antibiotics. I'm not drinking. Do you want me to lift you?" Uh, and I was like, we, we didn't talk in between every time we met, you know. Yeah, yeah. We just kept, keep end up in the same. And I was like, yeah, that's grand. He came, picked us up, took us for line. It was to drop my friend off home at her house, and then he took me back to my house. And I was like, but not back then, nothing clicked. Like yeah. that, like oh, there's very again. But like, yeah. it was always like I always said to my friend, like, oh, he's the one that got away. But it wasn't that he got away. It was like we lived far away. I couldn't drive. It wasn't like, working. I yeah. think he had just learned how to drive. Like yeah. he was, mm. he was older, a year older than me. So he was like going to uni. It was just never something that would have happened. Yeah. And then when I went up to the Holy Land, so I was dying to get there. <laughs> we love the Holy Lands. <laughs> <laughs> the first night, so freshers, like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So the first night of freshers. So it was my first time like going out there. And I was just walking out of our house, walked like two doors down. And he lived, he lived there, like a few doors down. No, that's great. weird. And I was like, oh, well, I was like, here we go again. Like, we just keep like connecting. Oh my God. And then God. that's when we actually were like, right, okay, like. So there was always someone, someone up there, there was like literally yeah. pushing us yeah. together. Like, and like Mom. we still said out now, we're like, like, yeah. like we just kept being pushed together. Yeah. And like, there were so many things in between that like, we were always end up in the same place, but like never intentionally. Yeah. It's crazy. You know? And then I actually talked about that on TikTok once and everyone's like, oh, he just like stalked you. But I was like, no, but stories and stuff weren't a thing. Like, no. Instagram, yeah, when you take photos have. of your new shoes and be like, 
You yeah, 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 yeah. Like, literally on your hashtag on your feeds. Insta, yeah. in, what did you write? Hashtag Instagram. Insta, oh, like, oh. like for like. Yeah, what? What? it was like begging it for. Wasn't <laughs> like you could, you know, okay, they're gonna be going there. It wasn't like you that. You didn't think it yeah. was like that at all. I don't think like stories were a thing at all. No, I don't think Snapchat stories were no. a thing. It was like you know, you could see like your Snapchat best friends and stuff. Hey, right. <laughs> that was when you think three. back to all that. It's like what the hell? Mad, scandalous. What was it? So was Rory your first ever boyfriend? Then? No, no, I had. A, I'm his first girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> I know, bless him. <laughs> I well, what do you consider a boyfriend? I don't consider yeah. a boyfriend until like after sixteen. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Ca- I wouldn't count ca- if I was thinking of my exes. I wouldn't be thinking of like my twelve year old boyfriend. Like, yeah. I know, not that. Yeah, yeah like fifteen, sixteen, and if like if you're with them for a few years or something. Like well, that, I hang out a boyfriend when I was fifteen for like a couple of months, but like it's not real. Not yeah. a boyfriend. No. Oh well, God. Yeah. Just, like, Hope we're not watching. Do- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I had a second boyfriend then when I was like 17 mm-hmm. for a couple of months again. Yeah. And like there was just, it. it was just like, it wasn't like heartbreak or trauma. No. Yeah. It was just young and like. Yeah. Young yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. Love. yeah. Not even love. I feel like I'm, I'm used to text my like 12 year old boyfriend be like, do you want to kiss? <laughs> <laughs> That's like me. Oh, like tell them, like ask, did you want to kiss? Do you remember in primary school, you used to get your friends to pass notes. Well, we did in my school anyway to like the fella you wanted to be with being like, do you want to go out with Ellie? Yes or no? <laughs> and you have to tick the box. Tick the box. We didn't have yeah. boys in our school. Oh, I did in primary school, not in second. I was mixed yeah. the whole time. Were you? Yeah. I would say so, that's probably better because like all girls, yeah. a lot of bitchiness and like drama. And yeah, there wasn't much drama. The, if you were, there were some boys in our school and you had to be fluent Irish speaking to be a boy in our school. What? So it was like, an, it's called Irish Medium Unit, IMU. So like, if you're fluent Irish, you go to the Irish section. You can mingle at like lunchtime, but like yeah. you're Why? in a different section. Go away. Yeah. So a lot of schools like that are like in the north. It's like you have like your school, mainstream school, and then you have like the Irish section. Right. And so boys can be in the Irish only section. Only boys can be, yeah, but boys can't go to the. I think it's because there's probably a lack of high schools for, for Irish yeah. boys. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. I don't know, but um, it's like in Derry Girls when James went into the all girls school, and he was oh, the yeah, only true. boy in the whole school. That's true. Actually. Yeah, but I don't think he's because I would. I thought that was weird watching, but that yeah. was. Yeah, I think in my year group there was like six boys. That's wow. mad. From first year to seventh year, yeah. And they just hang, hang around together, like. Yeah, but like you, you still mingle, and then once mingle. you get up to like A level, you can be in the same class. Okay. Because um. Obviously, like, they're not going to have... There's only a certain amount of people that do each, like, teacher. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. not going to have, like, an Irish-speaking one and an English. Mad. So then you get to be in the class, and, like, when you're in the class, like... Oh, yeah. A boy. So are you fluent in Irish then, yeah? No, no, God, oh, no. 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 So <laughs> only the boys would have been. Oh, yeah. So you right. can go to our school, like, if you're not fluent. But okay. then, like, Emma Kearney, she was in my school. Oh, but she oh, was in the Irish yeah. section, because she's fluent in Irish. Oh, right. So she would have been in the class of the boys. Do you get what I mean? Ah. So it's the Irish section and the English section. I would Mad. love to speak fluent Irish. So would yeah. I. It's only I, uh, now I realise I really How important wish. it is. I yeah. tried to... F- I couldn't learn it in school. Like, sure. I couldn't put it in German. Like, I, yeah, that's all that's I could do. mind-boggling to me. Really? Even when you do it like, <laughs> over and get ready it? I love like, it. It's my favourite thing ever. <laughs> it's like Avmar to my yeah. brain. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but when I love she's it. On the, when she's on the phone to her mom or anything, I'm always like, <laughs> louder. If, louder. if I'm with someone and they don't know I speak German, I answer the phone, they're like, they're like, what the fuck? Is, they're like, she, they think like that there, something's going on. <laughs> they're like, oh my God, am I okay? She all right? Just yeah. German. No, I yeah. love it. I'd love to speak Irish. But I say when you, when you can talk one language, like, you can like, it's fake easier news. to pick up. Fake news. I could no. speak one. I could you not even pick up other languages? No, not certain. I tried to do Spanish for one year. I didn't know one word. Irish I found really hard yeah. couldn't do that either I loved Irish in school but then like I stopped after fifth year and then yeah. I, I loved can... it up until third year and yeah. then I feel like hated it's not, like for, if we're doing it since primary school surely we should all be fluent by the time we yeah why yeah. why are we not into our heads did you do it that in primary school yeah, yeah. oh see we yeah. didn't yeah. no didn't and learn a still word none of us know a word no I ended up hating it so much I did foundation level oh like the lower level the lowest that you can do yeah. where your exam was just ticking a box sorry I done that in math and English I did maths as well <laughs> doing it yay <laughs> no what I wish I wish now I had uh, I know I know I tried I I know, see, like, I have Robin and, like, I have the choice to put her in an Irish-speaking school. Oh, or, and like, you don't? You no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it was, like, a really, like, yeah. a debate about it. Yeah. Because, um, like, our neighbours, like, their children do it and all. And I always used to think, like, the likes of, like, Emma and all, like, just swapping into Irish. I'm like, that's yeah. amazing. So and, like, cool. class. Yeah. And, like, it's our language, like, yeah. it's, no. like, important. But, um... We just all hate it. What's wrong with us, like? Uh, I don't know. I was just, like... Fuck, I don't have yeah. time to be pick, picking up an extra curricular Sorry. activity for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to learn it then oh, as well. Because um, yeah. like our neighbors, like they're like learning it for their children at home. So yeah. I feel like you would need a like. I mean, I could put the time in if 
I really, really, really want to. Really want to. You're very busy. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Busy yeah. gal, busy gal. You're three kids. Yeah speaking, yeah, speaking of the kids, fill yeah. us in. Tell us their names, ages, everything. I need to know. Okay, oh. right. So I have Robin. She's four. Oh. Rhea, they're four and a half. Rhea's so two cool. and a half. Rian is three months, 12 weeks. So. I feel like Rian is so like, he looks like he knows what's going on. Oh already. yeah, he's a chunk. So aware. He's so cute. His eyebrows. I love his eyebrows. He's got good eyebrows. He's so what weight was he? Yeah, 12. Okay. So that's like nearly that nine pounds. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Well, like, some babies be like six pounds. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Like, but all of mine were big enough. You know I was an 11 pound baby? Fuck off. Oh, that's like no. a monkey. <laughs> That's, oh, that's like a toddler. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like a, oh, that's huge. Wow. 11 pounds. Oh my oh God. God. So my mum had my two oldest brothers mm -hmm. and they were like five or six pounds. Scrum oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, Lovely. Yeah. And my dad was like, oh, like we found out like you were having a girl. I don't know. Like, I don't think it was like you could find out, you know, like when we can. But like, yeah. I think later on, it's like, oh, you were a girl. Couldn't wait to get a daughter. And he's like, you came out. You were so hurry. <laughs> you were humongous. He was like, it was like, not the moment he intended. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, you were just huge. I'm so worried. That, were you yeah. late coming out? Is that why? No, I don't think so, no. I was just huge. Big baby. <laughs> Big massive baby. Love that. And then yeah. I have another brother, he's younger than me, and he came out like a wee totally just six tiny. pound child. I don't know what oh the hell God. happened with me. <laughs> massive. No, cute though. I feel like you make motherhood, obviously it's not easy, but you make it look so mm. like te like tempting. I'm like, if, that, <laughs> if that's what I can yeah. like, You're so calm and chill all the time. Yeah. Do, you, like, do, you ever, yeah, do you ever lose your shit with the kids? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Do you get stressed? I feel like you just Yeah, get it's hard. Yeah. Obviously, it, like, yeah, it is hard. I try and show like the good and the bad, but like yeah. obviously like when everyone's having tantrums, I'm like, oh, get the tripod out. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Hang, Hang on. Get your sister again. But like, like I try and like if the tripod's up and like they're fighting like I'll keep it in yeah, I'm, like yeah, it's yeah. so real but like at the end of the day the more stress I get the more stress they're gonna get because okay. I'm like fuck 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 and then they're it, like yeah. yeah 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 so I'm just like oh let them fight it out yeah <laughs> who's gonna win today let kids be kids yeah. yeah I saw you had the other day a tech free day how did it go a what a, like a technology for, no phone oh yeah, yeah yeah so we've done it two days um, how's it going because they're like they're totally becoming iPad kids are they yeah it's so hard and you know. probably know in this job like your constant emails messages phones There's calls always something. Yeah. then you've edited and then you're recording like yeah. it's so handy to be like here you go sit down yeah. and they just be <laughs> quiet yeah yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It, and it works and then like it, it worked for a long time there and like obviously it wasn't like 24 hours here's your iPad yeah. don't talk to me yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the last week like it was only last week and I'd be like the right iPad's away and they were like ah, give me my iPad and I was like you're four they're very dependent on, on it yeah, yeah, yeah and then I'd be like go outside it's sunny and like Robin would go outside I was saying in the video like we've got like in our back garden it's like a play park I saw like, that yeah so good pools trampolines everything it's not Chaos. I, I saw garden. you saying it. No one you imagine like an aesthetically pleasing garden. Yeah, yeah. Not. <laughs> I saw you saying everything was plastic, like you fake grass. Oh, like, plastic. where the fuck oh, did she find this caterpillar? I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, where did she find it? No, I know. Even when there's like a bug in my garden, I'm like, why are you here? Like, everything's plastic. Everything's fake. Yeah. Where did you come <laughs> from? But like, I was like, go out and play, you know? And like, she like, walked out and was like, what do I do? Can I have my iPad? And I was like, Oh, no, so I yeah. and they haven't had their iPads since like and they haven't watched TV, haven't done nothing, and it's been unreal. They've been out the front on their bikes, they've been knocking the neighbors' doors. You're like, I don't even oh, know. That's yeah. what we would have done. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you're, like out, out, you're yeah. out from like in the morning until night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, she's getting her dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <She's out> later. <laughs> but so there's cute. like a family in our state, and like you know, it's a small way state, so you kind of know everyone. But it's like uh, one like house that we don't know. Mm -hmm. So we have this neighbor and like we've never talked to them before and often and like Robin had said to me, I think a wee boy lives in that house. Like, can I go knock his door and see if he wants to play? And Aww. I was like, Go ahead. That's adorable. Knock the door, the wee boy came out and they were playing all day together. Aww. Do you know what I mean? I was like that one day above her iPad. Like and Robin would be quite shy. Yeah. Okay. But like she took it on herself. Like I didn't go down with her. She's like, Will you come down? I think like, no. I was like, go. Aww. This is what I done. He said, knock all the lawyers. Yeah, you know, your best friend. He said, like, tip the can or, like, 40-40 and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, literally. Um, but, like, she's young crap. I was like, no, go. Oh and, like, God. I'm not joking. Like, there was, like, 10 kids out all day. I all feel day like day. iPads now, like, because, ev like, everyone uses them now, whatever age. Like, it kind of makes everyone a bit more introverted. Yeah. Then, it, like, we're all, even, like, like us, if we're skills. sitting somewhere, like, you'd probably, instead of talking to the person beside you, you'd be way more likely to say, go on your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. They say like, that, easy. like, us nowadays hate making phone calls. Oh, yeah. Which is so true. Like I hate ringing up like my insurance or like 
making a doctor's appointment or like shit like that. I hate doing it. Yeah. If I can avoid that at all costs, I will. will. Like I'll go online and order a prescription online before yeah, I the doctor to go down. Yeah, yeah. Go down and see them. Yeah. I don't mind yeah. phone calls. I'm like, they can't see me. So voice I notes are kind of like the barrier in between that. You know, like it's not sending messages. Voice notes. Yeah, voice yeah, notes. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a barrier in the middle yeah, going. Yeah. I just hate your private know. number. Don't ring me. Text me if you're ringing me. Yeah, phone. who are you? I know, Text yeah. me. Don't won't answer. If a number I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's always scams. Someone told me, rang me, was like, "You have a Bitcoin." I was like, "Definitely." If, if I had Bitcoin, I, wish. I wouldn't be living here. <laughs> off somewhere else. I wish. Like, honestly, this is an advertisement from Better Help Therapy Online. It's Charlene and Ellie here from the Home I Drink podcast, and sometimes we tend to compare our lives to others. I know social media definitely does that for me. You can find yourself wishing that your life looked like someone else's. You also hear the phrase, comparison is the thief of joy, and it's so true. It might look like someone has it all together on Instagram, but in reality, they probably don't. Therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have, so you can start living your best life. I think that's what I love about therapy. You can just go to therapy for everything. Everything and anything. Any problem you have, no matter how big or small, yeah. it's, it's going to help. If you're thinking of starting therapy, definitely give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a registered therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. With over a thousand therapists in the UK already, BetterHelp can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of expertise in mental health. Our listeners can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash HMD. That's betterhelp.com slash HMD. How old are you, Anna Olivia? 26. Or young, should I say? Yeah, 26. 26. Did you see yourself growing what up? You? I'm 29. I'm 26. I don't know. Two days ago or three days ago? Oh, no, yeah, it's happy birthday, but yeah. thank okay. you. <laughs> but did you see yourself when you were younger being 26 with three kids? Like, no. Did you? I saw myself in Australia. <laughs> oh, John <did> Bevan. <laughs> chilling out. <laughs> Not a chance to see kids in my picture at all. Did you know? No, never. I, I actually had always like, like, you know, some people are like, oh, I can't wait to be a mommy. I can't wait to have kids. Like, I was never like that. Ever. Wow. Yeah. You know, think of me going through like this trauma early on, like Poor. not having like that motherly figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only boys in my house, three brothers, a dad. That's all. Oh, uh, yeah. Like there was no like, I can't wait to be a mum and have children. That was yeah. never like that, it's ever. So it was like, a surprise. Oh, yeah. I was wait, Robin. 20. I got pregnant at 20 and had her at 21. Wow. Um, yeah, I know. It's How such did a you find out? Like, were you feeling sick? Oh, God. <laughs> You want to know, I'll, I'll give the tea. Yeah. <laughs> so we were, I was coming 21 and I was like, the very, we, me and Mary had done like a full year of like, just like fucking off to every country that we could possibly go yeah. to. Anytime we got money, we were like, right, book something, go. Mm -hmm. And I was coming 21 and I was like, right, I want to go to America. Never in America, let's go. Mm -hmm. And we were in America. I Like the year before this, I'd come off like all contraception purely because I was like, this is surely like, I've having this like rough enough like person with like, a pretty like bad experience through my teenage years. Like I was yeah. just mentally gone. Yeah. And I think, and I'm adding like this, like when I was 16, my dad took me to the doctor. Like I wasn't having sex, but mm, like okay. my dad's like, pill. Yeah. You know, for because, hormones and stuff. Just yeah. because like, he was like, I'm not like, there's no mum here to do this with you yeah. at the right age and for you uh, to go and talk to this yeah. about like when you're going to start doing that or whatever. So he it was like, to avoid that was, like, conversation. Thing, yeah. was like, doctor, pill. And yeah. doctor's like, are you having sex? I was like, nope. He's like, pill. <laughs> yeah. And that was it. And like, I think that was good that he done that. Like, yeah. It caused, yeah. Caused, yeah. there was no stress or nothing yeah. then about that. And like, imagine I had to go to him like, I've got a boyfriend now. I think I need to get yeah, the pill. Off. Yeah. It was oh, so no. awkward. Yeah. But I think I was like 19 and I was like, no, I'm coming off it. Because like, I'm already like not here. Yeah. So fucked in my head. Yeah. And surely this is like, for like three or four years of my life is like adding on to it. Mm -hmm. So I just came off it and we went to America and there was like one slip up in America. One slip up in my whole life. So it only takes me once. Yeah. Everyone watching, it only takes yeah. months. <laughs> yeah. And I know I know exactly what happened. And like even like the day after, I was like the very You could feel it. I was like something is oh different. Oh my God. And then we came home, didn't get the period. Um we had like it was we done like LA, Vegas, San Fran. So we were on loads of flights and then like a long flight home. I think we had to stop in like New York and like do like a connecting flight or mm -hmm. it was like a long enough like flight and I was like flights definitely like affect your period coming. <laughs> they actually they do. I no, they actually it up. Do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's back to mine. And I was like completely like just the flights and then I was talking to someone I actually worked with and she was a bit older and I was like I still haven't got my period and she's like go buy a pregnancy test and I was like okay. <laughs> but I was like this is so funny like ha 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 and it was me and Mary's oh. two or three year anniversary the day that we, we took the test Okay. and it was in my house and he like brought me flowers and like, you know, like the wee small cards that come in flowers and yeah. you'd like 
I texted him and I was like, got a pregnancy test. <laughs> and he drew on it like, um, or happy anniversary. It's like a like stick figures of like me, him, and this like baby. <gasps> Went into the bathroom, took this test. We were both like sitting there like this. <laughs> have you ever, I don't, well, I'm not going to ask you if I've taken a pregnancy. I'm sure you have. Yeah. But like, it's, scary, it's the yeah. longest, the really longest life, three minutes the things just ever. going up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just come up pregnant and like the tears, <gasps> like I just was like, but it wasn't like, Rory was like crying but he was so happy. Okay. He was like, we're going to have a baby. This is amazing. And I was like... Were you the opposite? What am I going to do with a baby? I'm not having a baby. And like... You still I was feel really, like a baby probably yourself. Yeah, I was still a baby. And like, it was just so different. Like, Rory grew up with children. He has loads of younger cousins. And like, mm, yeah. he has, he's the oldest of five. So he saw his siblings come and stuff. Yeah. Where me, it wasn't like that. Like, there was no babies in my life. There was never babies. Yeah. And I was just like, what the fuck? And he was like, yes. Like, <laughs> but not like that, not in a toxic way. He was like, this is, this is so good. Like, yeah. yeah, they're great. And yeah. I was like, no, they're not. <laughs> they're not for me. <laughs> and he like rang his mom in my, we were lived in, we were in my dad's house mm. and he rang his mom in the bathroom and she was like, it's okay. Stop crying. Like, like mm. it's fine. Yeah. This is ha- what's happening. La da da da. And I was like thinking in my head, like, I'm not having a baby. And like, yeah. they were like so excited. And I was like, I am not having a baby. No not chance. Yeah. And, my dad, like, he's, like, loves cooking. So we went downstairs and, like, he was making steak. It was me and Mary's anniversary. And, like, I love steak, love steak. And we sat down. He's like, why are you not eating your dinner? And I was like, I'm literally going to be sick. I went up to the room and just cried the whole night. Left right down there with my dad. God love him. So, and I didn't tell my dad for, like, a week. Did I you was know? traumatizing. Traumatizing. Oh did you think he was going to be, like, upset, upset or, or was just scared? I don't know. I, him? Looking back now, I was like, he would probably have been, like, fuck like again there's no maternal person in this picture who's okay. like there's no granny you know like granny he would have panicked baby. probably a he was bit, like yeah. I'm gonna be a granda there's no sisters it's all boys yeah I think in my head I was like fuck like I didn't have a house I like just traveled for a full year zero zero pound <laughs> yeah and um it was nearly like I don't know I don't know what my fear was I think it was nearly just like what he was gonna think and like yeah so I told everyone but him. I t- my dad's got a fiance. I told her. Yeah. I told my brother's wife. Yeah. Didn't tell my brothers, but told them. Yeah. Told my best friend. And they were like, like, <laughs> you have to tell them. And I was like, no, 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 no. Man. So then it, it got to like a week and like I was like not eating, like not sleeping. <laughs> I was like traumatized. And like very family had knew and I still hadn't told any of mine. And I just went into my dad one morning. And I just started crying and I just passed my driving test. So I got a car after I passed my driving test and I crashed it like five times. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was a nightmare. Right? But not in the other cars, like in the walls just and like the, yeah. stupid stuff. Like I just kept hitting this yeah. car. And like every time I hit the car, like I'd go in them crying. Like I hit my car again. Um, <laughs> so I went in crying. He was like, here we go oh, again. Jesus. He was the like, car. Yeah. He was like, have you hit your car? I was like, daddy, it's worse. And he's like, what's worse than hitting your car again? Yeah. <laughs> and then like, he just like, the penny dropped and he was like, are you pregnant? And I just started crying and crying. But he was like, okay. He's like, for what reason are you crying? And I was like, Aww. I don't know. And he was like, right. He's like, how long have you known? He's like, have you been to the doctor? And he was so chilly. He's like, Aww. right. He was like, Aww. you know, this is your life and your body. And like, you have to eliminate everyone else. And you have to think what you want to do with this. Yeah. And like, obviously, there's a whole debate about that like thing. And But like, in that moment, that did go through my head. I didn't speak about it to anyone. But I was mm. like, how am I, this person who has been off the rails for the last 10 years, right? <laughs> has zero money, right? Yeah. Fine, very. And then I kind of settled a bit when me and him, I, I he together, changed yeah. my life so I did. But Aww. I was like, how am I going to own a baby? Yeah. How's a yeah. baby going to come out of me at first, yeah. right? You couldn't but imagine it. Yeah. Life at the end of the day, yeah. But the way he said that and worded it, it was like, oh, I can do this. Yeah. And yeah. it only took him to be like, you have a choice here for me to be like, but I can do it. Yeah. yeah. But until yeah. he said that, I was like, fuck, and I can't do this. I've, Not yeah. a chance. Yeah. And he was so calm and he was like, okay, we're going to do it. We have a big house, we have our rooms. Yeah. We're going to be fine. Aww. That's like, so you need a, I did the voice of reason a little bit. Being like, yeah. Okay, like, it was, yeah. yeah. It was, he was like, it's going to be yeah. fine. He's like, but your life is going to change. Yeah. You're going to have to work hard. Mm. You're going to have to be able to, you know, mm-hmm. of course you and this baby can live in this house, but you want to give your baby its own house. You know, you yeah. want that. Yeah. So you have to work hard and you have to do this decision no one what your life's going to be like. And he's like, we'll support you, but just know. And it was so good because I was like, it really gave me like this. You like, needed that. Go. I was like, right. Yeah. yeah. 
I have, I have no money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Marie, we have no money, right? Yeah. We, and it was like, right, okay, let's get the headphones and get our life together. And we did. We did. That's so low. But it was, it was, that week was awful. And like, Matt, you probably feel now if you had to tell your own dad you were pregnant, mm. you'd probably be like, Ooh. Like, I, even if I'm, even if I'm 26, I'm 29, <laughs> and I'd still be like, oh my God, my dad's going to know I have a shag. And, yeah. Oh God. Like, that, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, seriously. I know, that's yeah. the stuff that comes into your head. I know. I know. It, it's just like the, oh. Yeah. But <laughs> I wonder, do you like, would you ever feel ready fully? I don't know. When, when you have a second, then obviously, were you like, oh. how did you feel? <laughs> Even worse. Even worse. <laughs> that worse. Oh my God. Yeah. Because it was 21, then 23, I was pregnant mm-hmm. with Maria. My brother was getting married this year. So my oldest brother and his wife, they were getting married. It was Mafia and Sadie's year. And then I got pregnant. I was like, sweet fuck. I got pregnant like two months before the bed. And I was bridesmaid. I was like, of course, you know, like, how do I make this about me? Of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made it about me. <laughs> but I didn't tell anyone, didn't tell my dad. I told Rory and you, my best friend, she knows everything. The dead, something mm-hmm. happens, she knows. Yeah. And I didn't tell any of my family, not Rory's family. And on the day of the wedding, or the day before, I told, I have a brother who's just a year between me and him. Mm-hmm. I told him, I was like, you are going to be the person when someone says, Olivia, what are you drinking? Don't worry, I'm getting Olivia your drinks. Okay. Olivia, what Perfect. do you want to drink? And so... I told him and he was like, you're so stupid. I was like, I know. <laughs> but, um, like, that's like our relationship. It's like, yeah. fuck, you're a stupid cunt. But, yeah. um, so he was like on drink duties that whole day. He was like, what do you want to drink? And I was like, oh, vodka seven up. He'd get me seven up. And it was, the, it was during COVID, their wedding. So it was in like their back garden. It was like the best wedding I've ever been there. It was so chill, so oh, intimate. Yeah. And he went and done all my drinks and stuff for me. And I didn't tell anyone to like a month after. It's like, right, they just got married. They need to go on their honeymoon. They need to, it's their year, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, so I, I got to like 16 weeks without telling anyone. Wow. And then I told my dad, I actually got my brother to tell my dad. Um, I was like, I'm not doing that conversation. Not again. No. <laughs> I was like, so he was like, I don't know if I need to tell you something. And he goes, she's not pregnant again. And he goes, yeah, she is. And you know what my dad said? So I said a reading at the wedding. He was funny. I thought you looked so fat at that, on that <gasps> altar. And I was, what? I thought I looked beautiful. He was like, I swear to God, I turned around the fiance. And <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe you on serious. <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm like, I'm so dad coded. Like, <laughs> Oh my um, god! That, that's a nice reaction, though. Like, it was so like, yeah, I know, yeah, and I was yeah. like, yeah. He's like, God. He's like, I'm glad that <laughs> I'm not that. being rude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that you had. He's like, I didn't want to say it, but um, I didn't tell anyone, and then I didn't tell them until they got back from their honeymoon and stuff. Too. Oh, and I was so chill. Like, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Like, there would never have been beef of me being pregnant, but I was like, I can't. It's be just, you probably overthought it in your head. Yeah. Teen pregnancy again. Like, yeah. I think I've, I think I've had all teen pregnancies. I was 21, like. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm a teen mom. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You still think you're younger than you, you were. Oh, I'm like, still a teen yeah. mom. Oh, yeah. I am yeah. still yeah. a teen yeah. mom. Absolutely. And you have said online you suffer with postnatal depression after your second Second, baby. yeah. How did you, like, know that's what it was? Or did you did you know? I didn't know, didn't no. Know. So, it was so different. The two, the two babies were so different. I lived mm-hmm. at home. I yeah. had, like, a village behind me. I still have a village behind me. I lived at home with Robin when we had her. We stayed with Rory's family. Um... And like Rory's mom would do the night feeds for me. Aww. She is amazing. She is Aww. literally to this day, like, I don't know where I'd be about her. Like, we're best Aww. friends. But she would have done the night feeds for me. Yeah. Like, I didn't have a clue. They gave yeah. us this baby and we were like, go home what, with right? that baby. What? Yeah. Like, yeah. So she was really supportive and all through that. And we were kind of a bit spoiled. So then when we had Rhea, we had bought our own house. It was just us with Robin, pregnant again. And when we had Robin, COVID just hit. So Rory wasn't working. I had him, all of our families, like there were so much people there. Around you, yeah. And then Rhea, it was just a bit different. I think it was due to like how spoiled I was with Robin. Like I just had so much people there constant. Like mm-hmm. and Rory went back to work after like a week. I was in this house with like two babies and I was like Alone. Yo, what do I do? Is yeah. anyone gonna pop out here? Yeah. And, like, yeah. <laughs> take her for a minute. And it was really, really hard. And like so you'd be pregnant for like nine months, right? And you're working. Like I worked right up to like at my due date. And then like you're not working and you're just at home with babies. It's and such like, a change. Your head's like yeah. busy, busy, busy. Nothing's happening. I'm just like a mum now. And I don't I don't really know how I got it or why I got it. But like, I just remember like, I just wouldn't stop crying. I was like, like, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't know why. Anytime like, Maria, like, and Maria was a, an amazing baby. Like, I couldn't mm. imagine if she was a hard baby. But yeah. like, I was just getting so frustrated. And time she cried. And I was like, why is she crying? Why is she doing this? Like, and like everything, Robin then to look after and Robin was just two. Mm. So she was like terrible too. It was a nightmare and all I did was cry and all I did was like, was like, I don't want to be here. I do not want to be living right now. Like yeah. I would rather not be where I am right now, which is horrific because like yeah. I'm a mom of this new amazing baby and a toddler and we just bought a house. It was like an amazing part of our life. But I was like, 
I don't want to no. be here. Wow. Yeah. Um, and it went on for a while and I was talking to my friend about it this week and she was saying like, I just remember you always ringing me crying and crying and like Rory would come home from work and I'd just leave. I'd get out in the car and sit like park up somewhere and just cry. Because he was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, I you don't, don't know. know. Yeah, I really no. don't know. You can't put your finger on it. Like, I, 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 it was just, there was nothing wrong. But everything was well, wrong. Everything at the same time, yeah. And so I rang yeah. the doctor one day. It was like, my friend was like, just please ring your doctor. I rang yeah. her. It's not, you know, I have, I don't know, do you have like, it's not doctor appointments anymore. It's like appointments on the phone. Do you have that here? No. Oh, well, you, you can't get an appointment here for any. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you ring your doctor. I oh, talk to them, you don't oh. get like to see them. Well, it depends on like what it is. Like, but, yeah. And I was just like, like, I can't stop crying. I hate my life. I don't want to be alive. Like, and like, I kn- obviously you know what depression is. Like, I, yeah. I'm not depressed. I know I'm not depressed. Yeah. But like, I don't want to be alive. I hate my life. I am crying every single day. Like, yeah. every single thing is making me cry. And she's like, no. That's depression. You, yeah. you are. And I was like, no, I'm not. And she's like, and I can't really remember. She's like, you've definitely got really bad anxiety too. And like, she was like, okay, we're going to prescribe you this. We're going to send you to counseling and stuff. And I was like, it just took that for me to be like, okay, so something is wrong with me, mm-hmm. not I am like the problem, like, and everything else. It's like, okay, there's something to like, obviously after you have the baby, all them hormones, like it takes 18 months for your hormones to like, Regular level again. Yeah. 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 Does it? After a baby. Wow. So I just said, Robin, hormones probably rebalanced for six months, then I got pregnant again. Pregnant, yeah. So everything was probably just, it was such a big change. Yeah. 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 But, um, yeah, that was how wow. that went. And do you think there's enough awareness around that? Like, do you think it would have helped you to know sooner? What it was like? How long did you spend mm-hmm. in that? Well, like phase? You know, I, I knew what postpartum depression was, okay. but like I think like unless you've been depressed before, you probably don't know. You probably feel like, oh, I, I'm feeling really low. I'm feeling really down. I'm maybe feeling a or bit sad. depressed. Stress. Don't think or, yeah. I am actually depressed. Okay. Yeah. Until you're told, okay, no, all of yeah. them things that you're thinking, yeah, is depression. So like they do talk about it and all, and like you have like a six week checkup after you have a baby, right? Mm-hmm. And that's like in the north anyway on the NHS. It's a phone call with your doctor. Okay. How are you? How's the baby? How you feeling? And it's like, yeah, yeah good, grand. And you have a crying baby and you can't wait to put the phone down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's not <laughs> yeah. like... You're not going to sit there on the phone and... Do you know what? Yeah. I'm actually feeling shit. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like, okay, yeah, and I'm grand. And yeah. then I probably think... And like the NHS is amazing. We're so lucky. Like we don't pay for anything. going to yeah. doctors or anything. So we're so lucky to have that. But in the terms of that, like I think a quick phone call... is you doing? Not enough. Isn't not probably enough. enough but... Yeah. I get that the NHS is crumbling. Like, they're still yeah. under pressure and, like, they're yeah. amazing. Yeah. But I do think, I don't know what they could do, but I think the phone call isn't enough. Isn't going to no. ask how you're doing. And, like, you don't want to be in a phone call. Like, yeah, I'm no. terrified. Of, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not answering that. I'm so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bye. I need to do. <laughs> and then yeah. if you're crying over the phone call. Text me. WhatsApp me. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Were you afraid of that happening again then with rain? I didn't really think about it. You didn't think about it? I didn't really think about it. And, like, I think having rain, yeah. I knew what was going to happen. Robin... I didn't know what was going to happen, but I was spoiled when it happened because we had so much family to live with. Yeah. Rhea was like shocked at the system, like what the hell? And it's yeah. not even just like the help, it was like the two babies. Yeah. The house to clean. Like when we lived at home, like we got our dinners cooked for us by dad and Mary's mum and all, like we were spoiled. <laughs> yeah. And like bills to pay, like there's financial pressure. Like yeah. after Rhea, I went back to work after like two months. Did you? You went to take nine months off, but I was like, I, I, I have a house, I have a car, yeah. I have bills, yeah. I have another child to feed as well as Rhea. Yeah. So... There's all that with Rain. It was like, okay, like I already know that. Like the bills were all new to me with mm-hmm. Rain because we just yeah. bought the house. We're Rain, like the bills have been here. We know what we're doing. Yeah. Robin's a bit older. Rhea's a bit older. I know what it's like to have two, a chaos house. So yeah. add, an What's one, add another one. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. 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 Not make too much, but <laughs> yeah. I wasn't too worried. And also, I knew that I wasn't going to be taking much time off work yeah. with Rain because I'm so lucky that my job is my phone yeah. wherever I am. Yeah. So I kind of took two weeks off with Rain and then, because I felt like, our job can be difficult, but mm-hmm. in the terms of being a mum, it's easy for me. Because but you can stay at home and do it. I can yeah. yeah. So it's not like I'm leaving them yeah. off at daycare, fucking off in office for yeah. eight hours. I'm so lucky that yeah. I can do it. So I only took two weeks off and I've been so busy since I had them. Only for me being yeah. so busy. I do think, well, I don't know, I don't know. But only for this job I'm in and how busy I've been, that's what's kept my mind off. Yeah. Like do you think the job helps? Because you're like always, there's always something to do. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Well, that's good yeah. that you have that though. Yeah. Like, yeah. You have that to focus on. I think, yeah, no, I think the job's great for like yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. And have you like, because I remember when I started to like, or when you're growing and like whatever, do you think you like overthink content and stuff more now? Or like, is there a change in like how people react to things? Like, has there been changes since you've like literally grown from zero to 100 <laughs> in space of a couple of years? Yeah, when I, when I watch videos back from when I started, I'm like, <laughs> why did I post that? I'm <laughs> saying. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God. And like, some of the, like, 
Not that I said anything bad, but I'm like, oh, I wouldn't say that now. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. But um, like, I still don't, really don't care what I. Not that I don't care what I post, but I'm like. I like to be really like me when I post. That. Like, but that's why people love you though. Yeah. Like, there's no are. like, okay, like Anne Olivia off, TikToker on. Okay. But, you know yeah. what I mean? It's just like, yeah. there's yeah. no switch. Yeah. It's just yeah. you it's the just whole that. I'm like, yeah. Like sometimes if I'm doing a video and like, I'm like, oh, can't say that. Yeah. Like, but like, not that I'm saying anything bad. I'm like, yeah. that's just going to be, con- I try and stay away from controversial things. Yeah. But then I still try and like use my platform to talk about things that need to be talked about and like, you know, yeah. like using your platform for the good and like, yeah. Stuff like that, but um, I don't know. I don't know. If my content's like uh, my content's been the same. Yeah. Only I've, I've got better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So better. good. I feel like I can just watch. You're really easy to watch your videos. They're just so like. I feel like I'm watching my cousin or something. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I think it's because you are so yeah. real that it's just like you just. It's so relatable in that yeah. sense that you're just like you the whole time. I always feel like I want it to be like when you watch my videos and then when you yeah. see me in person, like there's no. Difference. Oh, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So you're the exact thing. thing. Is, yeah. I think that's the nicest compliment that somebody can give, especially yeah. in our industry, is that somebody can say to you, "You're the exact same online." Like I you're online, are. yeah. Or yeah. if you ever get someone's like, "You're actually real nice." Like, yeah, what I'm like, what you mean? Actually, actually, yeah. yeah. I think I'm be mean. Well, speaking of online, do you and we've just been saying how down to earth and nice and just normal you are online. Do you deal with any trolls? Does anybody be trolling you like? Yeah, little. For what? I don't know. What could you troll on Olivia? I know, oh, but there's her. always something that, you know, like you could put up like this amazing video and there's like one part of it like where like there's something happening it's like cancel. Yeah. And like Rory gets a lot of the hit. He Does gets he? a lot of the hit. Like, I don't know. People just don't like him. <laughs> they call him Lego head. <laughs> He gets like a lot of, he gets, what job I don't know, like where he works, he's got like a family business and he works like six days a week. He plays wow. football and like, yeah, yeah. like that's his life. He yeah, does yeah. It and like, he's I'm not like, an Instagrammer. Like, oh like, yeah, he, yeah. He, he's got loads of followers. Like, but, he, yeah, 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 but he doesn't post. It's oh. funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's got like, well, like he's got like 50k on TikTok. And oh my God. he's posted like eight videos. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. I'm like, it They're took like, wait me for the next few years yeah. to get 50k <laughs> followers. <laughs> And he's got 50k and looks like eight videos, Jeez. but he gets a lot of the trolls and like it's it's all the silly stuff like this isn't a real job, like putting your kids online. There's like, you know, every single thing that I do as like a mum, I'm getting like... Mum shamed. Yeah. Okay, right. scared so of that. My kid's yeah. watching an iPad. I've had kids. I took the iPads off my kids. Why Bad did you mom. do that? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? need iPads to leave. And uh, <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. they get iPads in school, they need to learn to use them. Uh, you feel like you can't win. Yeah, I can't win, and I, do, I just don't care. You yeah, can't, I don't give a yeah. shit oh, about know. any of the comments I get. Like, yeah. I really, I'm really <laughs> good at like being like, "That's hilarious." It took me yeah. years to learn yeah. how to be like that, and even there might be one or two now that might still kind of not sting as hard as it used to, but still kind of get to you. Yeah. But it took me years to get to a place of being like, I couldn't give a flying fuck. <laughs> yeah. what I know. You, what about you and your big page? I don't, you you, one yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> imagine making a page just to make. Yeah. If anything, if anything, I've switched my mentality from being like upset and like, yeah, upset about trolls that I've switched it and flipped it on its head to be like, oh, I feel so sorry for yeah. you. And I love going back to them being like, I'm sending you so much love. <laughs> like, like, your way. Yes. <laughs> it's love the like, yeah. It's, I love flipping it on them, making them feel like yeah. I'm a fucking Egypt because you're. Yeah. It comes with online, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. I wish it didn't. It's but. like one of them things, like you have to deal with it and like, mm. I do find them funny. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to be yeah. entertaining. Like, where I'd be like, sometimes, oh, delete that. And I'm like, no, that's so funny. That's like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. need to reply yeah, yeah. something funny back to that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I could be like, you're the worst mum in the world. I hope you, like, <laughs> die tomorrow. And I'd be like, LOL. <laughs> do you know what I mean? LOL, same. <laughs> but, like, I'm like, it's so, I find them so funny. I don't yeah. know. I'm really thick skinned. Like, yeah. it takes a lot to, like, hurt me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It takes a, real, a lot to hurt me. Like, it really does. But yeah. it's, I just find them funny. I'm like, it's, and like a lot of it's, a lot of it's like, this isn't a real job. Like, try paying. have heard before. Try paying pay. taxes like the normal people. I'm like, I pay taxes. I pay a lot of yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. taxes. Yeah, like, this more. is a job. Yeah. Just let me remind you. It's yeah. stuff like that. And it's yeah. like, you could never work a nine to five. And I'm like, I've done it for fucking you five did. years, yeah. six years, yeah, I know. seven years. I worked I three jobs at the same time once. Like, Jesus. I've worked. You know, it's not like, and people all say, influencers get handed this life. This came from money. And I'm like, no, no, they don't. <laughs> then if, no, I, then they, if don't. they think that, then it's like, do it then. Like, if yeah. people think, uh, oh, or if they comment, anyone can do this, do it then. Yeah. I know, and it's yeah, like, like, enjoy. I'm not, if, who's stopping you if to do it? We like, all had no jobs. Yeah. Anyone could do this. I'm like, when every influencer started out, they had jobs mm. and they yeah. worked yeah. at night doing their influence and alongside a job. It's not like, it's like, okay, I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to make a TikTok account. And, and then, then I'm going to go be a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that. It doesn't work like that. No, I know. I see a lot of people saying now that they, 
they're like, oh, I really like people when they start, but then when they like quit their jobs, I don't really like them anymore. I'm like, yeah. that, but that's what happened. They want to keep them. I saw it on at a level. They want to keep so them much. at a level, and when yeah. they pass that kind of level of like, normalism, they, yeah, normalism nearly. Like they're like, mm, I wonder in a few really. years though, will this job be like so normal that that won't happen anymore? But you probably like in like, like twenty years, so many people post them now. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Very yeah. constant, and like they're getting big. And like, yeah, I love to see it. I know, yeah. I love to see it, but like. I do you think? I don't know. I don't know. There's space for everyone, I think. There is space for everyone, but I don't know if it'll ever be like normal to like the trolls. No. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be. No. It needs to be illegal. No, (laughs) honestly. It needs to just be like cut out from social media. You are getting married, you and Rory. Are the kids going to be involved in the wedding? Are they going to be like flower girls, page boy? Yeah, well, the two girls will be flower girls. Um, Rian, if he's walking, he'll be a page boy. But he will. Well, I'm on like a little horse or something. (laughs) (laughs) Who's not pushing down? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> With those little electric trucks. Not, no, do you know the horses like, yeah. that are like the electric horses? Yeah, yeah. And just hold them. In. Yeah, yeah, like an yeah, electric tea there. wagon or something. Yeah. 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 Well, he'll that. be like 13 months, so like, or 14, 15 months. He, he should might be walking. Be walking. Yeah. He maybe will yeah. be walking. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be there. Do you, so you have everything always, sorted? Or? I've got a wedding planner. Okay. She's my sister in law. Does everything. Sadie. Perfect. The wedding, Sadie, the wedding planner, I won't need. Yeah. She is unbelievable. Like, she's texting me today, like, 200 messages. Like, you're doing this, this date, you're doing this, this date. I've just booked you in. She texted me today. I've booked you in for dancing lessons on the April the 26th or something. I always think about that. You have to do dance. Oh, me and Ray are cat. Like, we'd be up, like, so awkward, like, stiff. <laughs> <laughs> People, like, kiss. And I'm like, no, God. No, God, God, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she's, like, amazing. I don't, so know, I don't know anything about my bed. It's amazing. That's That's so so I was, like, they're, apart like. Apart from the singer. Apart from the singer, yeah, 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 and like everything else. But like we we meet each other every week, and she goes through things with me. She oh. knows everything, like to my taste and my style, and like Happy it's so funny because Rory's like, "Oh, when's here and Sadie's wedding again?" Because it's like Sadie's <laughs> <laughs> wedding. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I can't wait right. to get married. Really? Oh, yeah. Do you feel like that? Like, I, do you dream of like at your wedding day? I yeah. dream of my wedding. Yeah, I'm I, just stressed because I hate planning anything. Yeah, yeah. I'll well, just, just get it. Just get a wedding, the wedding planner. <laughs> There you go. I, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm I'm excited for things probably that you, not that you shouldn't be, but like stupid shit like putting on a dress. I, I can't wait for the day. Like, I can't I just, wait to try uh, on the go dress shopping. Yeah. yeah. Have you picked your dress? Yeah. yeah I hate a dress shopping. Oh. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Not in like a like I took my best friend and Sadie and we tried dress on and like Sadie was like tearing up. She's like, This is the dress. And I was like, put the tear away. <laughs> put the tear away. <laughs> You're not crying. Like, no, I hate that shit. And like, you Do know, people you? looking at you and all, I'm like, Turn around. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I went to one shop and I was like, I'll get that dress. And she's like, absolutely, you will not. You will go to another shop. <laughs> Were you just like, yeah, that one. I was like, yeah, it's grand. It's lovely. Thank it's you nice. Guys, you're so oh. It was a nice dress. Like, I was like, yeah, it's grand. Yeah. Like, can we just please get this done and over with? So and cool. she's like, no, we're going to one more shop. But thank the Lord, we went yeah. to the next shop and it was in the same week. I tried on a dress and I was like, oh, <laughs> that dress that I was going to buy is literally oh, nothing <laughs> yeah yeah and then after that she was like me yeah, no I we know we'll find the one with yeah, that one yeah. that was the first dress I tried on and Aww. was cured Do you think, was it what you envisioned your wedding dress to be or no different? no a lot of like brides say that, that yeah and that's why apparently at your dress you should try, try, and, you should try on try everything even everything the one everything. that I like was Hate going it. to buy yeah. was so not what like I imagined myself really? and like I had like a really clear picture of the exact dress, fit, style, yeah. where the arms are, shoulders, whatever. I had this image. Mm-hmm. Like the dress, I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing like it's it. It's not the same. Nothing Mad, like it. isn't it? I know. Is, is it 2026? 20, no, 25. Five, five, five. 11 months out. Wow. Oh my God. I know, it's so exciting. So That'll fly. fly. I know. I, I can't wait. I actually can't wait. I just want the day and like the family and yeah. everything and everything just to be so like magic. Yeah. Is it a big wedding? About 170. No. Oh, wow. Big. That's big. me hurting a lot of feelings cutting it down is it yep. a lot of hurting feelings it's so hard I, I wanted 150 and it was like last week I was like I just can't get 150 without really hurting feelings that yeah. I don't want to hurt we were talking to Erin even and Aidy and Miriam the, 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 God, the last, right? last episode <laughs> yeah they're all weddings but about like numbers at yeah. weddings and how like it's very hard yeah how, how does that even come up like do you have to personally say to someone listen you're not coming to my wedding oh God I'm not doing that this yeah, don't get an yeah. Don't get an <laughs> how does it work like what do you do we they just don't get an invite and stuff but like it's so hard because Rory's got a Mahusa family I've got a Mahusa family <laughs> we've got like I have a small enough friend group Rory's got He's, he's a big enough friend group, but he plays football still. Okay. It's like a team of like 50 lads, lads, that, lads, lads. Yeah. lads, lads. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. We all need but to come. Like they're close <laughs> with them all. Yeah, um, I know. So 
at the end of the day, like the people that I want to be there will be there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's all, all that matters. matters. Yeah. yeah. And like if they're feeling it's hurt, like sorry. Sorry. Don't invite me there. It's not personal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not yeah. personal. And like no. it's so expensive. And yeah, like no. you could do I'm a house of wedding, but that's even more expensive. Yeah. And yeah. I want it to be intimate. We did yeah. talk about going abroad. We wanted did to do it abroad with like fifty people. But um we were talking to like wedding planners and stuff abroad and like it's so funny. And I was looking at Mallorca and she was like to me, Okay, what's your budget? And I was like, I don't really know. I don't like how am I meant to know what my yeah. budget is? Like yeah. that's like an impossible question. Yeah. So I gave her like a rough like guideline. I was like we'll stick to this and like it was just like the first figure that came to my like, head. Yeah. I was like let's do that and like Roy was like <laughs> I was like surely we can cut costs if yeah. we need to and she was like okay a minimum spend for like a New York wedding and this is like two years ago a year and a half ago so it'll probably be it changes yeah. every year was like 90 grand on your venue so like Something else. 90k on the venue and I was like oh what? Yeah, my budget was nowhere near that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I was like, oh, right. And then um, I was like, right, you know what? We well. local and we do. We Lovely. Do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would love an abroad wedding, but I yeah. also love Irish wedding, traditional music, Irish yeah. dancers. Yeah. Oh, I love like embracing Irish. like the Irish yeah. culture. We love being yeah. patriotic bitches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah. Being I patriotic. do. And I watch your, you feel like getting emotional. Yeah. <laughs> no, being, yeah. <laughs> but I really yeah. love the idea. And like, we've got grandparents and all still alive. Yeah. So, like, they're not, uh, and like, they're important to be there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, um, no, it's a wee at home wedding. So That's so nice. So excited. Yeah. I can't wait. Like, Aww. and you are now part of our management as well. Yes. You're an I icon, girl. Is icon your first management that you've had? Or no. Before? No. Have you had, oh, I've had one before. I've had one yeah. before, yeah. How do you find having a management in this job? Do you think you like you need it to keep organised? Because there's so many people who don't so have busy them. busy as well. Um, so many people don't have them. And I'm like, I wouldn't know what, what to do. do. What to charge what? Yeah. Or I had like the, the last seven months I didn't have management um, okay. and I always had said right so obviously you look at people right and you look up the people in every job that you do right yeah, so yeah. like let's not lick the holes but like you two are like people that every influence I think coming from Ireland would look up there right oh, you're OGs yeah. you're unreal yeah. but I remember always looking at the likes of you two there was like Keely, Miriam Lauren yeah and like I started putting like everything together and I was like they're all icons <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I actually said to Rory I was like Management. If I ever went with management, yeah. I would want it to be icon. But I was like, I don't think they'd take on Northerners. Yeah. Because everyone was from the South. And I was like, hmm. But that's the only person I got. And I yeah. said this to so many people before. And I was like, I just don't know if they would like take on a Northerner. But I'm really like, I like sit in the shadows. Like, I don't make myself known to anyone. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to yeah. like pop in the DM. Yeah. 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 But um, <laughs> I was like, I'll give them a wee follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> follow good. So it's like it's like a relationship. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say it's like, like the story. Trying to get the fella's attention. You're gonna fi- fire emoji the icon stories or something. I used to go on and stalk them like and like oh. I do everything that everyone's doing. I was like, I'll give them a follow, right? Yeah. And I got the follow back and I was like, <laughs> lovely. Yeah, I'm in. And Step then one. like two weeks later, they sent me a DM and I literally like voice oh. them. I was like, OMG, you're never gonna get fought. Like I told everybody, I manifested this. You I told everyone did. I would only want to be with icon yeah, yeah. and. So you look up to these people you do yeah. you look yeah. up to, I'm sure these people you probably look up to as well yeah. and yeah. like you're like they're amazing I want to do what they do I want yeah. to like get to that level I want to like work with the brands they work with because it is all like stepping stones up yeah, and up, of course. And, up. Yeah. and then I like died I was like Please. I can so die happy cool. I know <laughs> so yeah and they're amazing oh, and they're so lovely they are. Yeah. Um, yeah. so you're an icon girly now and then you also have your Be Perfect collection yeah, yeah I was gonna say. I tell us all tell yeah, us all about it when did that come about like you know give me foundation in my hand and I will say to you take that back I don't use that I don't know how to use that and it doesn't look nice on me I was mm-hmm. like give me the glowies give me the bronzers give me yeah. all that and I will look good but hand me like a foundation and I'm like what is it what do I do yeah and I've always and like every time I've got foundation on like to go places yeah. I would take it off I would you hate it how I looked at it right? oh, yeah, yeah. so but like I've learned now like oh. okay, I need like a really like like a skin tint or yeah. like a you know, like, yeah, yeah I've learned right <laughs> Getting good at this makeup stuff. <laughs> Brandon had always said to me, like, you are so good. You're like the queen of this, like, glowy, bronzy yeah. makeup. Like, you need to have your own line. And this is like, like, you said, I like, blew up fast. Like, this is only last year. I don't need, like, 50k followers. So I was like, you literally, yeah, I was like, blown. gosh, <laughs> what do you mean, my own collection? What's that mean? Like, what? <laughs> what? What do you mean by that? And he always kept something in my DMs anytime I do, like, a story of it. And he's like, you need your own collection. And I was like, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> like, Tell me. How to yeah. So he'd like come into the office and I was like, no. I was like, I'm not doing it. I don't like, surely, I, do you know when you think people are like just, oh, you need this, but like yeah, you're begging yeah, you yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, right, whatever. I was like, I'm not coming into your office and like people are like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so, um, and then it was like December and he was texting me, he's like, 
get into our office this week. Went in and they were like, right, what do you want? And I knew, like, we didn't even discuss it over text. And I was like, but I know what I want. Yeah. And I was like, I want A to B. So I want, like, your start and your end yeah. mm -hmm. in this bag. I don't want, like, you need to get, like, a brush from this collection or you need to get, like, a, you know. You want it all in the want one place. One bag. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, I want this for, like, people like me who don't have a clue how to do makeup. Like, mm -hmm. see, putting, like, a, a wing liner on, that's me, like, wow. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, I'm an MUA. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Like, Taking I don't a point. know anything yeah. about makeup. But yeah. I don't really occur to know anything yeah. about like doing all that stuff I just know what I liked yeah. so I went in and had this whole vision and they were like you're the easiest person in the world because like, I was like I want this this this, this. you know what you want they're like what about this and I was like no I don't know how to use that yeah. I wouldn't ever grab for something like that mm -hmm. and then there's like the whole like packaging side of it and stuff so like initially I was like pink and girly yeah. and like the girl um, Alex you probably met yeah. her, she was like looking at me right I had my phone my laptop my laptop case my AirPods and a Stanley Every single one of them was white and black. Oh. She was like, why are you going pink? And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was wearing white and black. She's like, why are you doing pink? And I was like, just. Yeah, she, was, yeah. she was like, look what's in front of you. And I was like, oh. yeah. she's like, are you a pink person? I was like, no. no. <laughs> I would never wear pink. And she was like, why don't we like do something to you? And I was like, mm. so true. Wow. Yeah, great. How did I not think of that? Right, that was right. stunning. It's um, so to a tea. Are so you wearing glad. it now? Uh, yeah, uh, but um, I oh, knew what I wanted. So it was easy. Like it was yeah. good. And like we were doing like samples and all that. And. Like I just knew what I wanted. And your launch went insane. Yeah, it was mad. Yeah. What the fuck? I wasn't on my phone for like two weeks, so I was so busy, so it was great. Like, I didn't see anything. Yeah, yeah, But it was all good stuff. I yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Rory always sends me, you know, anything that's like mentions me or about me, he'll send me it. So he was like, there's like 50 unread messages from Ethic Fuck you. People would like God. comment on all them. I'm like, shit. Oh. shit. But, um, Is he yeah. so proud? Yeah, he's really supportive. Yeah. yeah. I saw, were you taking a story of him doing a story the other day or something? <laughs> and you were just ripping the piss out of him doing Why it. Does he post what was he doing? No, no, he doesn't. No, he's dead. I'm well, like, he was doing something when you were. He got like gifted like me. So, like, like oh. where he gets like reached out all the time for like working yeah, on. Yeah. And like, he just like goes to everyone. He's like, no. Yeah. He, like, but he works and he's, he's got his he job his, and he yeah. has his football. And like, yeah. he's got the kids. He's like, I don't have time to like do something, take add on something else, else yeah. into this. So, he got like gifted, like, you know, like healthy meal prep meals. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm not joking. <laughs> He had them up on the counter. He had the camera down here, the camera up here. I had the camera. And it was like half an hour to get this photo, right? Oh. It was a story, right? And he then sat down. He's like, oh, well, I captioned it. And I was like, I don't know, like at the brand that was Ruben's Meals, at Ruben's Meals. Can't wait to try these or something. Yeah, thanks. Should so. I write like checking out what the fuss is all about? And I was like, no, don't write that. And he was all like, should I write like, like deliveries Monday, Thursday, oh. this time? And I was like, no. Half an hour these, to make the caption. all these captions, right? And I was like, but he does this for every story, right? Does and he? bless him, it's his oh, thing. And I get it. I Where when you're that. used to it, like, I'm just like, picture up, it, throw done. Up, yeah. He can't yeah. get over to do this. And like, I will take his phone sometime when he's doing this, and I'll just like take his phone and hit the story. And like, yeah. put it up. Yeah. And he's like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> but it took him like God. half an hour. Is he like, how do you do this all the time? It, he's just like, like yeah. what do you write? Like, yeah. what font? And I'm like, it doesn't uh, matter. So it took him like half an hour to take the photo, then like half an hour to get the caption. And he posted this story, and then he's like, Shit, like, has anyone replied yet? <laughs> like, oh my God. God <laughs> love, really love But, um, oh. yeah, I do take the piss out of him. But I'm, like, very, like, he's so, like, when he does his TikTok videos, like, they blow up. Yeah. They do, like, yeah, one yeah. TikTok video every three months. <laughs> and it blows up. And it and takes I'm like, off. you could actually do this. Yeah. But he just, Think he's he not, ever will, no. Um, like, we've had this discussion all, like, he works in family. Okay. So it's a family business. So yeah. It's his granddad's, now it's his dad's. Hopefully one day it'll be maybe Barry and his brothers. It's okay. the pride. Mm, in the yeah. name and he wants to be there so yeah. like we've discussed it and stuff like because like obviously I'm so busy and like I'm like you could leave your job and like help me with the kids stay at home mm. dad but it's hard when it's family yeah um, yeah, yeah. I think he could do it and he'd be really good at it but mm. 100% I don't know I think like boys like to go out and work too like yeah. to keep their mind busy true yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think socialise and it's yeah. their routine because I find it like that's one thing I saw with the job is like you don't really ever have a routine. No. Yeah. You it's hard to make more one. so with, when I think when you have a kid. Yeah. Because then it's their routine. Yeah. You're not, but when it's you for yourself, you're like, the fuck do I do? Yeah. I know what next. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just think it would be like like and like no harm them. Where you're a great boy, but like he's not gonna start putting on the washing and the dishes and cooking the, like it's not in him. You're still yeah. gonna be doing he's that. He's not yeah. going to like I just feel like we would clash yeah. both. At home. at home but I love that he has his job and it's a yeah. family name and like he works so hard so it's I like, yeah. it's Aww. nice to be different I feel like two people in a relationship in the public eye can never end well it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> prime example <laughs> but I actually wasn't referring to you but like I do think two big personalities yeah her. Posting constantly, like worries to like yeah. your relationship post. turns into a job. We yeah. said like through the week that like you end up having 
double content for people to focus on. As mm. in like the, the man's posting, the girl's posting, and then there's like you double like the amount of eyes and it's just yeah. like a lot more scrutiny. I think, yeah. When start doing that. Yeah, no, I think that. Well, maybe one day. Yeah, maybe I'll retire and he can take it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and what is next for you? What's next for mm. Olivia in the world? The wedding? The wedding? Yeah. Wedding's like the big thing. Um, Another baby? No, God, no. <laughs> Definitely. no. Is that you tapping out now? Are you done? Or I do think you, so. Are you? Yeah. It's such a nice thing to be able to say I'm 26 and I am done. Yeah. This. Like done. Go- I don't like being pregnant. hate being pregnant. Yeah. Don't like labours. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. I don't know. Yeah. For right now, yes. And then I always say like, when you're having kids, like you're in the nappies, in the bottles, in the night feeds. You may as well get them all in there and do yeah, it together. Sure. Yeah. So I do feel like when I come out of this, and they're all in school. I don't know if I'll want to go back. But then people say you do want to go back because you're bored. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, true. But for right now, I don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. But when they're, you're going to be still so young when they're a bit older. And I've worked it out. Yeah. On my 40th, they're 19, 17 and 15. Perfect. Yeah. That is I want to be so nice. Robin and Riel being a Vita. Yeah. That would be a ball. Oh my God. So yeah. cute. So we're going to move on to phone a friend. And for this week, our friend is Anna Olivia. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, so it's basically the part of the podcast where you're going to do the answering for us. Me Never any advice from me. No, me and Charlene, sometimes we can be him and hawing and giving two answers and yeah. kind of, yes, yeah, so yeah. we like to always hear somebody else's answer. So this week it's from you, okay? So this week's dilemma is, I was recently on holiday with a boyfriend of eight years and one night we were out having a few drinks and he randomly asked me, have I ever thought he's cheated on me? My natural reaction was obviously not, not once has ever crossed my mind. But now I'm like, maybe he has. Is this just a random question or do you think there's a red flag there? It really caught me off guard and I'm not stopped thinking about it. Red flag. Do you? Do you, what do you think? But I feel like if he had, would he have said that? Does but that why would you ever say that? That's so Yeah, weird. is it like a test? Is he kind of like, hmm, I wonder how she clocked on to if I have cheated or not? But that's so stupid. Like, I would never ask my boyfriend that. Yeah, have you ever thought I cheated on you? Have you ever, no. Do you ever think about, like, that I've cheated on you? Yeah. That was it? Yeah, have I ever yeah. thought that he's cheated on me? Like, if Rory asked me that, I would be like, Interrogation, why? Yeah, why? yeah, why? yeah. Give me a yeah. phone. Yeah, you'd <laughs> automatically, <laughs> yeah, you automatically think to go there. Yeah, like, right. is there ever a reason that you'd ask that for for no reason? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that had to be on his mind. Yeah. Yeah, why was that even? Unless he was yeah. thinking, I wonder if she ever cheated me. And I think, I wonder, does she think like this too? Mm, true. Like, I mean, like, I know, like, you can be in the healthiest relationship ever. But, like, mm. if you're sad, it goes on a lad's holiday, you're always going to have that. <gasps> What if they get drunk? What if they black out? What if something like, and you yeah. know internally it won't happen. Yeah. Mm. But like, you know, you, you I, well, I would get them it's, thoughts. Would you get yeah, them thoughts? Human. Like, yeah. 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 Unless, oh God. I feel like she needs to ask and be like, look, that I actually haven't stopped thinking about that. I feel like when you're with someone eight years, you can have them conversations. Yeah, it's true. And just be like, here, that really like took me by surprise. Yeah, what did you, like, why would you Yeah, because he might be like, oh my God, like I did it. Like, I feel like you'll know by his reaction okay. about why he said it. Yeah. So he might either come back and be like, oh my God, I really didn't mean that in that way. Like, but also, it was why? just a thought. What did he mean? Did she say they were out for dinner? Yeah, on holiday. And they had a few drinks. I was having a few so drinks. tipsy. Maybe let's. Oh like, God, no. I'm going to say red flag. Yeah. Are you? Of eight years? Red flag. Maybe, on one hand, <laughs> I think maybe it could be a case of like, do you know the way sometimes there, there are those people that literally do not screen what they're thinking before it comes out of their mouth. Like it just goes from here to yeah. out. Hide the mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't do actually like, think of it. If they're together her ears, she would know he's that type of person. Yeah. If that true. is what he's like. Actually. Some yeah, people are like, like that. a verbal vomiter. Like, yeah. You would be used to like Him saying like, random what's shit. What's about? Yeah. But if that like, really took you by surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I do think if Rory asked me that, I would be like, I would be like red flag. I would think about it for the next three yeah. years. Yeah. And I would be like that there has to be a motive. Yeah. That question. Yeah. Think. Maybe like, but I'm not saying that he's cheated on her, but maybe he's been in a position where he could have, or yeah. okay, like something's up. Mm. I don't know. It could be completely harmless. Please God, don't break up yeah. your, your boyfriend just, over me. Yeah. No. 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 Sure. <laughs> I think say to him and just like, look, I haven't stopped thinking, thinking about, about that. About Investigate yeah. a little bit more. Like, It'd be like very weird if you'd say. Mm. Yeah. Well, eight years. It's true. Like you can have them conversations in a really calm, like yeah, environment and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. Um. I would be looking to know yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't lying in bed. Like. I'd be turning into Inspector Gadget. Like, oh, yeah. like fuck that. No. What's going on? I wonder how the conversation went when they had the conversation. Mm. And I know. Like, I would love to know like the whole. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just record it next time. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe investigate a little bit more and fill us in. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you've been with them for eight years, you can have them type of conversations of like that. Without having to sit down. And weird at me. Yeah. Like, what was that about? And like, yeah. if you're with someone eight years, you'll also be able to tell when they're like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know? You can read them like a book at that stage. Yeah. We're going to do our peak and bleak of the week as well. Mm -hmm. Where we basically do like a high of the week and a low. Girls, I watched the podcast. Ah! Are. I forgot you are <laughs> explaining and everything <laughs> for anyone who's it's their first week listen maybe as well it's our best and worst of the week basically yeah we actually recorded yesterday so I need to think of a new peak and bleak my peak is electric picnic this week Woo-hoo. and bleak is that I went to sleep with wet, wet hair and now I feel a little bit under the weather oh no I just feel a bit yeah my mum says that <coughs> you catch your end I did catch my end yeah don't yeah. even know what that really means I don't know what that means. I don't never I don't catch your end. Your end. Oh, end. Catch your end. What's, how do you spell that? I don't know. I N D. Sounds like I N D. Oh. She's never texted it to me actually, so I don't know how to spell it. But she's always saying, "Yeah, catch your end if your hair is wet." Yeah, I caught my end. I love old like that. Yeah. My lamp's full of I love them. That. Brilliant. <laughs> well, I caught it bad. My peak of the week is that I finally cleaned my bedroom. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah, it looks good. Finally cleaned my bedroom. <laughs> really good. Like how sad. I'm 29. Like. Still have to say, like, yeah, that's a peak of the week. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and then my bleak of the week. Oh, I had a little biopsy yesterday, girls. Oh shit, yeah. I forgot. They did a biopsy. How did it go? So sorry, I got sick after. What? Yeah, I was in so much pain. Yeah. Did you get sick it. from the pain? Yeah. Did they get it with a big clippers the yeah. Do you feel sore now? No, it's all right now. I was in agony yesterday. They weren't meant to do that, weren't they? No, she said we'll have a look and then we'll see. And I ended up doing it. So Say your prayers for me. She said, she, she was like, I can numb you if you want. And I was like, the pain of the numbing might be worse than mm. the actual numbing. So I was like, no, I was there anyway. And I was like, no, I'll just fucking do it. How but, long does it take? I don't even know. I think I just kind of blacked out. I just remember my face being like this the whole time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I'm okay now, but I have a long list of things I went home with that I couldn't do for five days. What? <laughs> Shag. Couldn't shag. <laughs> no shagging. And it was so funny because my mom rang me after my appointment and she was like, um, how did you get on? Like, fill me in. And and I just heard my dad over the phone being like, you're on loudspeaker in the car, love. And like, <laughs> let him know. Yeah, I was like, right, man, I'll tell you when I'm home. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, so that was my bleak. So say a prayer for me for six weeks. Bleak. We're all right. Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah. we're okay. Prayers. Peak and bleak, Anna Olivia. Oh. Here we go. I do pick yeah, you yeah, Absolutely. Obviously, yeah. Peak is full circle moment today. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Love Aww. you. Looking up your holes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I joking? But it is a full circle moment and like we talked about this a while ago and it's yeah. like it was hard to get us all in the same yes. So yeah. definitely peak Aww. first podcast. Aww, and like uh, done a smear test yesterday, you know, like the cervical. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um not like it it's so important to get your smear. Yes. But it's a bit awkward. <laughs> it's no one likes icky look. Getting yeah. that done. But yeah. um it's important to get it done. But yeah. yes. Yeah. I actually didn't mind mine, you know. Didn't feel it. I was like, are you doing it? It's not like done? them doing it. It's, it's the, just a position you're put in. Put your legs around. up and let them fall out to the side. And yeah, here in the clamp and all. In here yeah. And you're like, I'd, my doctor was so nice. When I hear that clamp like coming her. out, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you know, they, they put me in a blue gown yesterday. Like, you know the one that your little Nike oh, bum is okay. out? Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah. So I was in my little blue gown with my Nike bum out. And I fucking left my runners on. Don't ask me <laughs> why I left my runners on. So I'm naked in a blue gown with big chunky white runners on in stirrups in the hospital. I'd say. <laughs> stirrups? Yeah. Stirrups. Oh, oh, yeah. So, I feel very vulnerable. Yeah, I just felt like an absolute idiot. And you lose your dignity. Yeah, a little. Not, you have to leave at the door. Like, yeah. Just but, like, yeah. but this isn't the most part and parcel. Had. No, part and no. parcel of being a woman. Yeah. Door after you left. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I walked outside to Queeve, and you know when you see, you know when you do something on your own, like a procedure, or, or I don't fucking know, going get a needle or doing something, and in the moment you don't cry, but it's when you see somebody you know. Yeah. But I walked out of the hospital, or Queeve came in to the hospital, and then when I walked out to Queeve, I just burst. Into it. <laughs> it was so sore. <laughs> I know because you have to be brave. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. But when you see some, it's like if somebody asks you, "Are you okay?" And you're yeah. Like, mm-hmm. And then they, "No, are you okay?" And then you, ah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> No, well, that's us. Guys, that was it. Yay! Thank you so much for listening. Thank you week. so much, girl. We have full video as well if you want to watch this episode on full video it's tomorrow at 12 on YouTube. So Thursdays at 12. And you can listen back to our bonus episode for Monday as well. Home and drink extra juice. And make sure to like, rate, and subscribe to the podcast. We love you, love. Bye bye. Love you. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app. This is an advertisement from BetterHelp Therapy Online. It's Charlene and Ellie here from the Home I Drink podcast and sometimes we tend to compare our lives to others. 
I know social media definitely does that for me. You also hear the phrase, comparison is the thief of joy and it is so true. Therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have so you can start living your best life. I don't know how many times I've said therapy on this podcast. Yeah. I literally, every <laughs> dilemma comes in. There's nothing that you can't go to therapy for. Like It just yeah. can help every every problem you have. There's you know? no specific one thing that you have to go for. Yeah, and I think people think you only have to go for like these huge dramatic things in your life, mm. but it can be just comparing yourself online. True. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a registered therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. With over a thousand therapists in the UK already, BetterHelp can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of expertise in mental health. Our listeners can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash hmd. That's betterhelp.com slash hmd.